we'll let these folks sing first, though. A singing sensation compiled of talented singers from across the country. We have Di Capella here to share their vocal skills. Hope you're ready just to get blown away by their talent. And forget the crown, Miss Rodeo Texas is ready to represent with her hat and boots. And we have a fun game plan. Plus, come thirsty and hungry, lead happy and fulfilled. How this bar restaurant near the Alamo Dome is giving back to charities with every drink they sell. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Hey, we're D Capella. And, and you're, you're watching, watching SA Live. Woo! Happy Tuesday here on SA Live. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage, and we are so excited. We have got a fun filled show. I mean, just literally from everything you can imagine and then a little bit in between. And today, Di Capella is ready, and we've got a sneak peek of what their show is going to be like later on tonight. Oh, yes. They get to travel the country singing all those Disney songs fans have come to love. Yep. And that's why we want to know, what is your favorite Disney song? That's our social question for the day. What's your favorite Disney song? A Whole Disney New World. Song? A Whole New World? That was fast. Yeah. <laughs> you thought about that one before. So. Um, I don't know. It's from What? what? You, know? you I would don't have to, know? I would have to. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I, I would have to say. I, oh. I love the one that Someday My Prince Will Come. So that's why it's great. So that's why I mention it. And it's one of our singers' favorite songs, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to give me an encore performance <laughs> later on. So, so anyway, let us know on Facebook and Twitter at SA Live Case at what your favorite Disney song is, and we'll share some of those but later on. We won't sing them, but we'll share them. Yes. All right. Okay. This well, group decided to make a stop here in the heart of San Antonio today to share their skills before their big show tonight. And welcome, and all were selected from a nationwide search. We have Shelly Regner, Orlando Dixon, Antonio Fernandez, Joe Santoni, Morgan Keen, R.J. Wessner, got it right, and Sojourner Brown. Good afternoon, everybody. Hey. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> so how, how difficult was that competition to earn this spot? It was kind of like the Titan Games where we were all just like fighting. No. Uh, <laughs> They're the only ones that survived. Uh, it, it was uh, about a month long process, honestly. We started all uh, submitting video submissions nationwide um, of a specific age range from 18 to 30 years old. And they narrowed down the search of over 1,500 submissions. And we, you know, to the callbacks in New York and Los Angeles, and it got narrowed down to the final seven, and here we are today, and, and we are on the road. And like they say, the rest is history. Now, Shelly, you perf got your start in the movie uh, Pitch Perfect. I did. So yes. what was that like? And then how'd you get selected for that role? Uh, well, that was actually an open call in my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, where the films were actually being filmed during that time. And it was actually my, my first uh, acapella job uh, ever and uh, so it, it definitely prepared me for this job but this job in De Capella is I would say is a lot more challenging um, than being on film singing a cappella songs this is the live real deal experience and we we're excited to share it with everyone now Orlando you of course um, were a finalist on The Voice what was the most difficult part about auditioning there um Probably you get in your head a lot, and you're, you know, there's this, there's this element of competition, um, and you're looking at everyone else, and you're trying to also figure out. For myself, I was, I was trying to figure out what is it that I bring to the table, and so there was battling that self doubt, and at the same time trying to build yourself up. Mm -hmm. So I think that, that finding that balance was was probably the most difficult part mm -hmm. for me. Okay, so Antonio, you're on stage there singing a cappella you mess up. You don't have the band to, you know, the music to back you up. What happens? How do you recover? You know, we figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Acapella, it's, 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 it's quite difficult, you know, just as a musician to be able to perform with professionals, but in acapella, it's extremely difficult because our foundation, what we call do or the key of the song, can kind of fluctuate. So we all have to stay in tune with each other throughout that. But in our performance, we will have uh, a metronome and pitches being played in our ear, which helps kind of keep us grounded oh, throughout the okay. show. But if we get off from that, well... <laughs> yeah, no, we'll figure it out. Yeah. It's so hard, again, like, it's, that's it's the live experience, that's right? Right. Yeah, yeah. We're all human. 
It's called acapella ad lib. So. <laughs> That's right. Gotcha. When in doubt, just beatbox your way out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When in doubt, beatbox. Now, Joe, you've been doing this for about 13 years. What keeps you performing acapella? Oh, man, what keeps me performing acapella? Well, I grew up in choir, so this has always been something that I love doing. Singing in a, you know, in a group, it's just been wonderful. And you know, finding the unique harmonies that we can find within a, a group of seven different uh, voices has been amazing because we all come from very different backgrounds. So it's really exciting because you know, we have the pop world, we have the theatrical world, and we have a voiceover artist right here, and we have a beatboxer who's amazing and theatrical. And it's just, it's, it's really exciting. So I feel like that keeps me involved. So Morgan, you've performed on Broadway, and what is what takes more practice? What's harder? What's more difficult, Broadway or acapella? Like, this? well, I've uh, found out over the past few days that acapella to me is harder. They're both very different. It's it's kind of hard to compare, but acapella vocally for me is the, is definitely the most challenging. Definitely. Okay. Now, RJ, you performed with Jim Carrey on Saturday Night Live. How nervous were you, and was he impressed by your skills? <laughs> You know, my favorite thing about that is he was very nervous at the sound check, and that made me feel like, oh, right. wow, even Jim Carrey at his stat, like, he's one of my heroes. That, to me, was the most humanizing, just the best experience was getting to see him in that, in that way. But um, I wasn't too nervous. Actually, I was, uh, I was off stage and on stage singing the opening song. It was about pecan pie. It was pretty wild. <laughs> it, was for, it was for the Halloween episode, episode a couple of years ago, but he's, he's incredible. I love that guy. And so, Journey, you got to perform at the Tonys last year. That, yes, I did. That, yeah. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. What, what, what's, what do you like about doing all the Disney songs like this? Uh, so, I grew up with Disney. Disney was my childhood, right? So, these are the songs that I grew up listening to, like, you know, The Lion King and Aladdin and Tarzan, all those songs that we get to sing. It's, they feel like they're so intertwined with my childhood. So, it's amazing to be able to do that every single night. Well, they are going to be performing, I love the video too, performing at the Majestic tonight. And talking about growing up with Disney songs, it's tonight at 7 o'clock. Tickets are available at salive.com. Here to perform, are you ready for this one? I want to be like you, Di Capella. And again, you can catch their seven dynamic voices at the Majestic tonight. Folks, take it away. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cub, and stroll right into town. And be just like the other men, I'm tired of mugging around. Oh, do we do? I want to be like you. I want to walk like you, talk like you too. You'll see it's true. And if like me, can learn to be human too. Someone like 
Majestic Theater. Just head on over to salive.com for more information. Excellent job. That was fantastic. Listen to that for hours. Okay, if you're looking for a spot to grab a drink and some great food before that show tonight, you may want to check out Charity Bar and Korea. And you won't feel guilty about having some drinks there because it all goes back to charity. Jen Tobias Dresky has more. Come thirsty, leave happy because all proceeds from this bar go to charity 100%. It's called Charity Bar. You'll find it right near the Alamo Dome on the east side. The setting is just right for a night out for drinks and good company. Oh, and there's amazing food too. We'll get to that in a minute. The coolest part is that with each drink you receive a token. Then you pick from three charities and drop it in at the end of the month. All proceeds are donated. Simple as that. And when you come to Charity Bar, Bring your appetite. They have some small eats that pack big flavor. I am now joined by Chef Ernie, and you have a passion for serving here at Korea, which is connected to Charity Bar. But what does Korea mean? What is that? So uh, Korea is the Japanese word for kitchen. So uh, we really wanted to have something that said true to what we do. I mean, kitchen is, is very straightforward. So we're basically the kitchen at Charity Bar. And so what are some of the popular dishes for your customers? We've got these really awesome steam buns that we serve. Mm. Uh, of course, we have ramen, and everybody loves a nice hot bowl of ramen. Do you, do you happen to need any help? Are you guys going to be busy tonight? Absolutely. I'd love to have you come back and make a bowl of ramen with us. Why okay. come on back? All right, let's go. In the kitchen, Chef Q is ready to show off his ramen-making skills. So what's the secret to really good ramen? The broth. The broth. It doesn't matter okay. really what you put in there. Everyone puts their own little twist on ramen, but if the broth isn't right, it's just not, it's not good ramen. We add some miso paste, some ryu, which is basically seasoned oil, then the broth. I used to eat ramen when I was like, you know, little packs of ramen. This definitely beats that. Noodles are ready to drop in. Add a nice little egg, green onions, mushrooms. It's so good. Are you hungry yet? We've got our ramen. I'm ready to eat. I don't know about you. Good vibes, good food, good drinks, and it's all for a good cause. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky, and cheers to charity. Ah, so good. Time to eat. Mm. Yeah, it's the second cocktail she's had in this story already. So anyway, hey, uh, every month Charity Bar picks three new charities who will earn donations. And to find out more on how to sign up for charity, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And some of the yummies mm -hmm. that they have here. Oh, wow. Look at yeah, that. I know. Some I shop out. Can, can you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Hold on. Crack that baby open. Yes. Look at that. Oh, Ooh, that oh, looks really oh, tasty. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to take a bite. Okay. You're going to have to read. <laughs> I've done that to her before. Okay, still ahead, keeping up with Western Heritage alive here in the Lone Star State. Miss Rodeo, Texas, joins us today, and she's putting us to the test with some trivia. And from cowgirls to cowboys, we have some Western looks for all the guys out there ready to saddle up for rodeo season. San Antonio and all those cowboys and cowgirls where they're getting ready to step out in style. But joining me right now is Stefan Delgado, creator of Bear Essentials on Instagram, and you're going to help our favorite dudes step out in style, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me today, Fiona. Today is what I'm going to try to do is present three different looks for the rodeo. Mm -hmm. As I've been in the rodeo in the past couple of years, I've always seen these three looks that tend to um, be a traditional look over when I go to the rodeo. The first look will be more of your traditional rodeo look. The second look is going to have your business approach, uh, the gentleman who's going to entertain clients, and then the third look is going to be your more 
more modern look of the gentleman who's maybe more there for the concert for the social aspects of it. So what we have today for the first look is going to be more of your traditional rodeo look. Um, when I think of a traditional rodeo look, this is what Eric has on today. Uh, he's got on the nice slim fitting jeans, uh, black jeans with some brown nice boots. Um, one thing to keep in mind, two things here that I think most gentlemen kind of get confused. Slim jeans don't mean skinny jeans, so definitely go with this, this slim look. Don't be afraid of it. The other piece is, don't be afraid of going with the brown and the black approach. If you see here on Eric, he's got the brown shoes, black pants, he's got a little brown trim on his jacket, brown trim on the black hat. Don't be afraid to mix those two colors together. They go well with each other. The other thing to keep in mind here is I like how he has the vest jacket over the black shirt. Uh, another look he could go with easily is throw on a button-up shirt underneath the sweater vest and that would be a great look. He could easily take off the jacket and go with the blazer look if he really wanted to. Uh, again, with the rodeo and the unpredictable weather, uh, he could throw on the jacket over this as well too. What we have here now in the second look is Chad's pulling off the business casual look. Uh, the look that I believe is gentlemen who are looking to entertain clients maybe in the suite or just there at the rodeo in general. Uh, one thing to point out right away is Chad's boots. Uh, I always believe that you should have a pop in color and Chad does that well here with the ostrich skin boots. Uh, again, the slim fitting jeans look great here. Um, more importantly, went with the pattern on pattern look. You should never be afraid to do patterns together. Um, again, with a nice little navy blue jacket, with the hints of it, goes well with the denim look as well too. Um, more importantly with Chad's look, he could easily change it up. If you wanted to go a little bit less business casual, more casual, he could take this off and go with a nice solid colored shirt where it would look really well. All right, Fiona, and the last look that we have here is what I consider the more modern approach to the rodeo look. Uh, the gentleman who's going to probably go more for the social aspects, the concert piece of it. Uh, today, what I have on here, um, these are more of the skinny approach to jeans as opposed to slim. Uh, I have boots on. Again, the difference with these boots is they come up a little bit more tighter on the ankle so they can my jeans can fit over them. Uh, what I have here today is also a nice uh, concert shirt from Grey Moon Vintage, uh, which kind of brings out the concert aspects of it. And then a nice little jean jacket to add a little bit of a touch. Again, I think you saw what the theme today is, don't be afraid to go brown with black. Uh, I think it helps bring out a little bit more to your outfit. Um, and it keeps it a little bit changed as opposed to mat being matchy matchy all the time. Uh, like this jacket over here, the firm Grey Moon Vintage is a great little pop of color if you wanted to add some more uh, touches of flair to your outfit for the evening. All right, Stefan, tell folks how to find you. Yeah, if you want to find me, you can easily go on Instagram and look at me, look me up at Bear Essentials. Uh, that's Bear is in the county, B-E-X-A-R-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S. -S -E um, and that's where I'll be. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. All right, and of course, we will provide a link to his Instagram page on our website. For more information on Stefan Delgado and Bear Essentials, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, of course, it is rodeo season and... Yes, every year a new Miss Rodeo Texas is crowned and ready to represent the state as an ambassador to the rodeo. And this year, the queen of the rodeo is Samantha Kate. Not only are you ambassador for the rodeo, welcome, by the way, but also scholarship and all sorts of other goodies, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. So how's it been so far? It has been a whirlwind. Ever since June, I have been on the road traveling, not only across the state, but across the country, and it has just been an, an absolute dream. <laughs> Now, this is a tradition that goes back, of course, five decades. How did you feel when they announced your name as the new Miss Rodeo Texas? So, as he knows, he was actually the one that announced my name. It was just, there was so much emotion in the room, not only for me, but for my family mm -hmm. to be able, they've been along this journey with me and just just sheer joy and a little a little bit of fear. This is something that's relatively new to me, so there's definitely been a good dose of fear in there because there's times where I don't know what I'm getting into. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, this is, I mean, it's a week-long event, the horsemanship. They have to know about everything that you can think of about the rodeo and the whole rodeo circuit as well. They're quizzed on that. So what are you most looking forward to this rodeo season? Just to get out to the rodeo every single day. I've been kind of in a, in a slow spot ever since I got back from Las Vegas for competing for Miss Rodeo America, so I'm ready to get bring my boots back out, get out to the rodeo, and just have fun. See everybody come out and just let's rodeo, San Antonio. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think it's time for a game. Okay. Speaking of let's rodeo, San Antonio, so here, here's what we got. It's, it's, we're going to hold up. We, we, I don't know what, what's on this card. Right. I'm going to hold it up, and you guys are going to give me a clue okay. as to, as to what, what, what it is. And I have to try to guess, okay? okay. Go. Um, it's on a horse. It's on a horse. And it's something that Saddle, I, reins. That I uh, have tried doing. Um, roping. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, you're going to start with... Uh, no, oh, wait, oh, yeah, that yeah. one. Okay, ready? Okay, uh-huh. Um, the seats are on fire. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, those uh-huh. seats are definitely on fire. Um, <laughs> This, yeah, this is um, probably one, are on fire. one of your favorite movies that you always quote here. It's a Wonderful Life. With us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, know if those seats are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> seats are on fire. Um, hot, uh, does this have to do with the rodeo? It's, 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 it's something like it. Do yeah, you give up? Similar. Yes. You give up? Go ahead, take a look. <laughs> I couldn't say these. Uh, we couldn't say these saddles are on fire. Okay. All right. Who's next? Is it? Okay. Is it Miss Rodeo? I, or I no? One, yeah. one more. One more. One more. Okay. okay. Hold here it we up. Go. All right. Here we go. Very quickly. So um, these people like to boogie to the beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they definitely like to dance. They like to dance. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's one of your favorite yeah, clowns. One They're of your favorite clowns. words that you like to say to make the rest of us feel not as smart. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Rodeo, anyway. Hey. Terps of Korean. Thank yes. you very much, Samantha, for being here. And there is a great event coming up, the Miss Rodeo Bags, Broads, and Bingo Fundraiser is this Thursday. And for more information on that, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We will see you out at the rodeo. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, of course, kicks off February 7th and runs through the 24th. We want to send you there. Oh, yes, we're giving away a family four-pack of tickets to Rodeo Opening Day. All you have to do is head on over to our Facebook page at SA Live KSAT. Click on the post and enter for your chance to win. All rules and regulations are posted on our website, SALive.com. And if you don't win today, don't worry. We're giving away tickets all week long, so good luck. Did you spell that right? Sure did. Still ahead on SA Live. (laughs) Tony's and the kiddos who helped raise them. We'll meet them a little bit later on. And David is sleeping on the job. He's live at Star Furniture to tell you about a big giveaway that'll help you sleep easier. Aww. He's got a teddy bear. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Well, going to the dentist can be an expensive chore, especially if you need braces, but it does not have to be because the folks that celebrate dental and braces are friendly, they're convenient, and they offer very affordable services. And Dr. David Ferguson is here today. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thanks All for right. having me. Having straight teeth and a smile. I mean, just beaming and a lot of confidence. Um, you have some before and after photos. Yeah, I do. And, and these are just a couple of cases that, that I treated uh, recently. You know, the big thing was, I mean, myself personally, when I was in high school, you know, I didn't have the greatest smile and I was really self-conscious about it, insecure, I would say. And, you know, braces at the time that my parents were trying to get me into braces, uh, it, was, it was expensive. Yeah, uh, chunk of, can be a chunk of change. It can be. And, and it was difficult. We didn't have the money. And so eventually, a couple of years later, they found a, an orthodontist who took my case and it really changed my life. And, and from that time, you know, I decided, hey, I want to make a group uh, where we can make this affordable for people, particularly, and, uh, you know, for kids. And that's what's nice about having flexible payments. Like that, right? Because you can you can figure it out what's going to be in your budget, and it's a nice monthly payment instead of just you know getting this thrown at you, basically, right? You know that was really what prevented my parents was that typically there's a large down payment when you start braces. You know, one of the things that Celebrate Dental and Braces does is there's uh, no down payment. It's a monthly payment plan from day one. You can walk in. Uh, you pay that first month's payment, you know, and, and today we're going to have a special, but you pay that first month's payment, and that's what it is every month going forward. So it makes it very affordable for people. Yeah, you know, as long as you know what it's going to be, that's, you know, really all that matters, and you know you have a finite number of months, and uh, usually braces take, what, about a couple of years or something like that? Exactly. The whole the process with it. So, yeah. Yeah. And you talked about a, a special for the viewers today. Yeah, you know, what we're happy to, to offer is for the first 20 people that uh, – order uh, or call the number on the screen today, they'll get no down payment. It's an absolutely free consultation, and it's a monthly payment starting at $99 a month. Wow. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. For a full set of braces, whatever you need. Everything. And you, and you do other dental work, obviously, too, right? We do. Uh, at Celebrate Dental Embraces, so we have both general dentists uh, and orthodontists in each office, uh, and so we do dental embraces. Uh, but yeah, you come in, get a full set of braces, $99. 
kids and adults. You know, kids right? and adults. About half of my patients are adults. Okay. Uh, so maybe ones that have put it off and couldn't afford. Now you can afford it. Now they can afford it. All yeah. right, doctor. Thank you very much. Like he said, call now to make an appointment. The number on your screen is 210-201-1696. That's 210-201-1696. And you can find out more about Celebrate Dental and braces on their website. Just go to CelebrateDental.com. And that great deal, once again, for the first 20 callers. All right, next on the show, cuteness overload with these mini horses. They have sore throats because they're a little horse. We'll meet them after the break. Yes, indeed, we have little miniature horses on the show today. And Robin Bailey from High Stocking Miniatures and Shetlands in Lavernia is here with a few of your friends. Good afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. Who did you bring with you today? Oh, I have a little bit of everything. We got Mask, we've got Angel, and Pinky, and Tootie, and Sky. Now, are they ponies or? These are miniature horses. The horse on the end is a Shetland. Okay. They go by height requirement. So a Shetland is 42 inches below. Minis are 38 below okay. inches okay. at the withers. So. Mini horse, pony, and then full-size horse. Yes, sir. Okay. And you have boarding lessons and training for kids? Yes, I do. Okay. This is one of my students here. Yeah, and we're going to talk to, to Cassie in just a minute, but this is not just, I mean, there, there's more to it than just showing these horses, right? Yes. It's kind of a, almost therapeutic. Yes, it is. It's um, And it's difficult. You know, they have to learn horsemanship to be able to move these horses with just a halter. And the shows, you cannot touch their body to make them do different things like going over bridges and, and side passing and they jump and of course they pull carts also. We okay. have quite a few carts. And joining us, one of the students, Cassie uh, Dykow, and you uh, fell off a horse. Yes. Right? And this is kind of the, the therapy to get back up on the horse, right? Working yeah. with these little guys. Now how's this compared to working with a regular size horse? It's different because the bigger horses, they're like here to you and these, they're like here or below to you. So they and the big horses are stronger so they can pull you if they want to but these they if you if they wanted to they could but they don't always they don't, they can't always do it so a good confidence builder mm -hmm. yes okay. what's your favorite part about working with these little guys the jumping at the shows okay oh. well give us an example of yeah. that now what are you going to be doing here oh uh, we're going to jump this one over the hurdle all right okay head on over there and like you said, when they're doing this, they can't touch the horse. And you said the horse basically wants to jump or go around the jump with them, Yes, right? you have to teach these little guys how to do all these obstacles. Um, takes lots of hours. Okay. So, and he is one of my best jumpers. He can, he can jump over his withers. He's, he's got some hops. He has some hops. <laughs> he's got some serious hops. That's right. fantastic. Yes. And uh, you... Where can they find you? Folks find you. Um, I'm in Lavernia, Texas. Okay. And I work at St. Hedwig Feed in St. Hedwig, and I'm always there. And we will be in the parade Saturday. I was so say, people can yes, also see you this Saturday. Hopefully, y'all can do fan fave on here. We would like to get some votes. Okay. <laughs> and of course, uh, you can catch the high stocking miniatures and Shetlands from Lavernia this Saturday in the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Of course, it is going to be right here in KSAT 12 starting at 11 o'clock. Cassidy, Thank you very, very much, Robin. Appreciate Thank you. It. Appreciate y'all having us. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. And, you know, when you're going mattress shopping, mm. you want to look for something that's comfortable. Mm -hmm. You want something that's going to make you just fall into la-la land and dream wonderful dreams and... Think about winning the lottery, something or like think that. about terpsichorean. And getting a great night's sleep. Yes. <laughs> David Elder is live at Star Furniture looking for the perfect mattress. How you doing, David? That's right. And Mike, Mike, if you want to read to me, that was a very soft voice. I'll fall asleep to that whenever you... He's out at Star <laughs> Furniture. But I'm out here at Star Furniture off I-10 and Days of Vala. And as you can see behind me, this is a furniture store. And when you're making an investment into a mattress... You might want to sleep on it, literally, but you can do that here too. Now come with me over here. I'm going to introduce you to the store manager. This is Brian Groby. Now you're going to be talking with us today about what makes this store different than any other mattress store here in San Antonio, right? I sure am, David. I appreciate y'all coming out. And I'll tell you that being in the business for as long as I have, 20 years, Star has been around for over 100 years. Nobody is doing it like this. This is completely unique, completely unique to us. We've reimagined how people come and experience betting, and that's just what it is. It's an experience. 
It is, and as you can see behind us, it's like an echo. It's like a, a hall of mattresses. Echo, echo, and it is a lot of them. Now, we are gonna give one a test drive though, right? Because we're gonna, we're gonna give, it, give it a go here, because that's the only way to really determine if a mattress is good. So we're gonna try it out. Yeah, except, it, David, let me stop you right there. Don't, don't do the CPR test. I mean, is that what this is? That's what that is. So many, <laughs> so many people come in to buy yeah. a mattress, and they'll sit there and they'll do the CPR test, or they'll just sit on the bed. And really, the best way to buy a mattress is to experience it. And so, so you, you have got, to lay down. You so gotta lay down on it. You gotta right? lay down on it. Right, yeah, definitely right. lay down on that. Okay. And oh. so, so one of the, one oh, of the nice. unique things about, about Star Furniture and what we do here is we have our department set up by comfort. So we have a, a whole row behind me. You can see a whole row of soft beds. And then we'll go to a medium bed. And then mm -hmm. we have a firm bed. And the entire row is set up that way. So really all you have to do is come down find the comfort level you want, and then just move down until you find the perfect bed. And that's what this is all about. This is all about making this process as easy as possible. And I mean, I'm down with this soft mattress. You might like a medium mattress. You had talked about it, the Goldilocks style, right? You come out here, the way they have it set up, it's so easy, it's tranquil. Look at that screen over there. It's just tranquil settings. The lighting's nice, and you can work with an associate to stay find there, out. Stay there, stay there, Dave. No, stay there. Oh, you're gonna stay there? I, I gotta help you out here a little bit, because okay. you're, 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 Making it a little harder, so I'm gonna raise <laughs> I'm gonna raise the head up a little this bit is, for you. I would so come to work can, every day like this if I got to go into a bed. Yeah. Yeah, this would be sweet. Yeah, see, there we go. We're gonna get you just right, so you don't have to hold your head up. I'll raise <laughs> you up in the bed, and you're all set. I'm all set. Well, this is fantastic, Brian. You rock. Thank you so much for having us out here, you guys. Star Furniture right now. It also has a deal for you at home. Just the viewers here on SA Live, right, Brian? That's right. Just for SA Live viewers, if they come in and they mention, we're giving away a twelve five hundred dollar. Wow. shopping spree or basically a gift certificate, right, $2,500. That is amazing. Exclusively for the SA Live KSAT 12 viewer. They just need to come in and mention that they saw it or they know about it from you and we'll give them that, that gift card that they can register to win. Uh, and there that's what they, all I have to do. That's all you have to do. And for more information on Star Furniture, of course, you can check out their website at starfurniture.com and stop by their showroom. It is awesome. And you can also look for the most comfortable mattress shopping experience and for your chance to win a $2,500 shopping spree. And we'll toss it back to Mike and Fiona there at Market Square. I can guarantee it's not as comfortable as I am right now, though. Oh, no. I'm Take very jealous of that. Yes. <laughs> all right. Straight ahead on the show. Oh, a taste of the Philippine Islands. We've got Sadi Sadi in the house, and we are making some lumpia. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we're taking you to the Philippines today with some home cooked food from Sadi Sadi, which means variety, right? Yes, it does. Camille De Los Reyes joins us today to share some of these wonderful recipes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so what are we making here? Ooh. We are making a Filipino fan favorite called Lumpia. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's these things are so good. It's like <laughs> chips. I mean, it goes that fast. It goes I'm sorry. That I'm very excited. Fast. You grew up on these things, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. You'll then be very popular if you bring it to Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. show okay. party. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. What so we, first we, we have ground pork, mm -hmm. and we're going to mix it with carrots and onions. Yeah, dump that all in there. All right. There you Start go. There's it there. salt, pepper, and all of it. garlic powder. Yep, they've been proportioned already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then these get sprinkle of love. That's how they get really delicious. Mm -hmm. Good. All okay. right. All right. And then, and then is that like a uh, like a phyllo dough almost? These are the wrappers. They're made of wheat, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of different kinds, but mm -hmm. we find that these are the easiest ones for us to roll. Oops. Sorry. No, that was, that was <laughs> one for the floor. We, we lost one. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, you look like you've done that before, Fiona. What, how many mixed meat? meat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many, so how many of these can you eat in a sitting? Oh, these? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, step back. That should be the new challenge. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, goodness, my husband can put away about, a, you know, 50. Just really? on, oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> You'd be surprised to see how fast that they go at parties. Okay. All right, if you're late, then mm -hmm. you're not going to get any. Okay, we have about 90 oh, seconds. All right, so, so we're going to roll this up mm -hmm. in the wrapper, just like that. Squeeze it nice and tight, and then fold the ends in. Now, are the wrappers something you can just get at the grocery store? Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a them. Special... No, we have them at our market. They're okay. in the frozen section, mm -hmm. and then we use a little bit of egg wash to seal. There I go. Yours might come out a little bit at the end if we don't the end. Sorry. seal the... I'm trying to do this quick. <laughs> <laughs> We're running course. out of time. <laughs> Here, Mike. There we go. Okay. And this just goes in hot yeah, oil? Yeah, hot about, oil. There you about go. how long? Until they're Until golden they're brown, brown and then they start to float. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You gonna cook yours? <laughs> yes, yes, oh, yes, here, here, throw mine in. It's not quite, it's not quite sealed. Oh, I was trying to do it too, too quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to. And, and besides, you know, this type of filling, there can be other filling. Yes, right? of course. Mm -hmm. You can use chicken. You mm -hmm. can use shrimp, or keep it vegetarian if mm -hmm. you like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what else do you have at your market? We have a lot of different Filipino snacks. We have a full-on bakery also, where we bake our fresh pandisal every day, which is our dinner roll. Um, Different snacks like the steamed buns also, the sesame balls, some empanadas. Yep. So just kind of like empanadas and you said all that. So just a lot of variety, the, chicken and A little pork. United Nations of all sorts of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Filipinos okay. love to eat. So yes. we dabble in a lot of different things. We love to okay. eat. We love to sing. Well, for yes. more on Sorry Sorry, <laughs> head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I think Camille wins as far as the ones that are frying up. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> Thank mine, you, mine, Camille. Mine not, appreciate not, it. Not right. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow on SA Live, it is a wild Wednesday. We're getting up close and personal with Texas Longhorn. Plus, Look, ready to ride like the wind in the market square. We'll introduce you to this local all-around female riding group as we count down to our rodeo kickoff this weekend. What a fantastic show today. Right. The singers we had, the horses, you know, they had little sore throats. They were little whores. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. So, <laughs> little whore. So, anyway, and all the great food that we had. Don't forget, the official start of the rodeo is this Saturday with the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, 11 o'clock, right here on KSAT 12. And we will be there hosting it. I don't know if we're going to be on horseback or not, but I won't. He might. <laughs>